hello everyone in the last video we have seen how we can create our login page and we will create our registration page here and the process will be exactly the same so you can just copy uh, most of the code from the login page and modify it so the header will be exactly same so the you can copy the code till header section exactly and put it in the registration file you don't need to modify anything here because the header will be exactly same and there is nothing much to change here and you can see after refreshing the page that the header looks fine so now we need to copy the section and add it inside our code we will make our registration page exactly like our login page because um, it is almost the same there will be a form with just um, some more field then our login page we need to change the title now you can see that the title is changed and okay now let's just add some more styling as i have told already that our registration page will look similar to our login page so we can just copy the section for section part from our login page to the registration page then we need to just modify it the modification is really very less after the form there is a paragraph tag we don't need that in our registration page so we can just delete that section or delete that tag after form the paragraph tag okay now you can see that registration page looks more like our login page we need to just change the background image and some other thing here let's change the class name and now copy our login image class and then change it to registration image at first let's make a different section for our registration styling now login image copy this and change the class name now we need to uh, select an background image and that image should be inside our image folder remember that there i will add this picture its name is saved as 4 and it's a png file now change it make sure to give the extension correctly png or jpg or any other file now let's change our height a bit Let's add 630 pixel. Yes, now it is alright. Let's work on the box here. Let's take it in the upper section after the header or navigation bar. Let's just delete this break. now we need to add some more styling let's change the name of our class to box2 and let's copy our box1 styling and modify it 
so that the other page styling remains same. Here, margin zero. Now, yeah, it has it has gone upward. Now, let's add some more styling. Let's give it a more height. Let's give it six hundred pixel. we need to make it a bit shorter or take the box more upward let's delete this break and now the box has gone more upward and still we need to shorten it a bit so let's change the styling And we need to change our title as user registration form. Let's change our form name as registration. And after that we can just add some more field here as input like first name, last name, email, role number, etc. Whatever field you need. Let's just copy or write it manually. Input type will be text as we will give the name as text or character. Let's give it a name. Let's say first name. You can give any name but let's give it as simple as you can. It is not needed right now but when we will use our PHP then we will need this name to connect it to the database. So let's make it just first. Then placeholder. Placeholder will have the name that will show on the main web page inside the, inside the field so that user can understand what they need to put inside that box then we need to put required because if we don't put it here then user can just skip one one field in the form but we cannot do that user need to fill up every field here to register then let's copy this for last name then let's add some more field like email pass password we have actually added so email role number etc and this time the type will be text again but only the password will have the type password other will have text I will show you why I have already explained it in the previous video so I hope you understand now The same process placeholder and then required then add some break precisely two and after that let's add some more field if you want to add something else you can just change the placeholder and the name other thing will be remain as same as this
Here's the adapter password. It will be also text type and name will be role. Placeholder will hold role now. Okay, we need to write it inside the third bracket. the form looks all right here you can see that if we does not fill any field then it will give us a message okay let's style it a little bit more the height let's reduce it a bit more like 590 or 589 pixel Okay, now it is alright. Now our form is alright. It's complete and we can just add all those information here. And if we press the button then it will show that please fill out this field. So everything is correctly done. Now let's add some name, first name, last name, username and then password. Here you see if we add password we cannot see what are we typing. But if we had given our type as text then it will be shown like the other field. But as we have given it as password type so it is being hidden. Let's add a roll number and an email. After this, just press the button. Now it's all right. We have come back to our registration page, and the form is a new form now. And let's change the button name as sign up, as this is our registration page. Okay, now it is all right. Now if we go to our registration page then it will look like this. Okay now let's do one thing. Change our navigation bar and inside this let's add our registration.html page. Let's link it. For linking it we need to add it like okay let's change this tag as registration and we need to give it an address our address will be the registration pages address it will be registration.html so we will also add this in all the navigation bar inside our login page registration page and index in everywhere so that you can access it from any page okay we didn't add our link we need to add the link registration.html and we need to add this inside the half inside the double quotation so let's take it inside the double quotation yes now it is done let's take this in another navigation in the registration page too here now we can just click on the registration button navigation or and we can just go to that page yeah now it is all right
i will add the code in the description so if you need the code you can download it from that link thank you